What is up everyone and welcome back to more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Spoiling you guys, as always, I try my hardest. I overload myself every single time with far too many games to play, but we always get through them together. So, last episode left me a little bit teary-eyed. The acting, the voice acting in that final cutscene that we watched was fantastic. I can't fault it. Hopefully the game has fully installed now, because that was uh, a surprise to me, too. I thought I had fully installed it, and then it turned out that I hadn't, so... My bad. <laughs> Can you imagine, though, if I was, like, I hadn't been playing for an hour, and then I was, like, 20 minutes in, and then I had to stop? I'd be furious. Absolutely furious. I think we're looking for a volcanic mountain. The crown of silver is probably a band of clouds. I just can't get those people back there out of my head. They lost everything. The riddle says, Chase the heart of the serpent to the Silver Crown Mountain, where the twins confer. I wonder what the twins are. <sighs> this storm looks like bad news. It's just a little rain. We'll concentrate on the Cloudy Mountain. Cloudy Mountain. If we find it, how do we know we have the right one? Gut feeling? It's our only clue. The mural says there'll be more disasters. The best way we can help them is to put a stop to it and Trinity. Okay. But how do we really know? Jonah, what I felt when I took the dagger. You mean the tremors of the tsunami? More than that. It felt like I woke something up. I know that it's not practical, I know that it's hard to believe, but you need to trust me. We have to trust each other. Hey, I might have something over here. Really? That's it! I don't like this storm. Should we come back in the morning? We're so close. I guess a little turbulence wouldn't stop Trinity either. Oh, Jonah. Miguel, is there anywhere to land? Yeah, I can put you down near Kuat Jaku. Let's go. Oh, God. 
Well, at least her hair is perfect, you know. Okay, I am hurting. Okay, we've had a rough landing. We don't know where the pilot is. Dr. Pedro Dominguez is an archeologist and expert in pre-colonial Maya history. My father mentioned him in his notes more than once. That's the lead Jonah and I were following up on when we came to Cozumel. His excavation in Cozumel was one of the last places my father visited before he was killed. If there is a connection, I want to find out what it is. I thought that Dr. Dominguez was only the leader of the local Trinity cell. I never imagined that he would turn out to be the leader of the High Council of Trinity. Is there anything on the back? No. So I just want to make sure we... Have we ever looked look at this one? This dagger is the key of Shackshell. I found an inscription near it. The key to Eshel's heart unlocks the cleansing. Okay, so we shouldn't have taken that in the last episode. Um, we done something bad, basically. Do I have a gun? No. I have nothing on me at the moment. Miguel! I don't think Miguel made it somehow. Looked like he had a massive hailstone to the face. Is that like a wild cat or something? Uh huh. Could be useful. So I need three of those in order to actually heal myself. What's this one? Uh, hardwood to craft silent arrows on the run. Hardwood medicine. Has it actually taught me how to craft yet? Because I don't think it has. There's literally nothing for me to craft in the last episode. I'll keep this for later. What was it? Right, so hopefully one of these is to Hello? heal. Anyone? I feel like you should know better, damn it, than to be shouting hello. Let me just see, um, because I'm sure. So side missions, artifacts, survival guide. So this is just everything I need to know about for this new area, but I'm really not sure how to craft on the fly. Maybe it just hasn't taught me that Where yet. Where are they? I have to find them. Okay, so we're going up that way, but I just want to see... Oh! This is beautiful! Like, there's so much to look at, so much to see. The Silver Crown Mountain. I'm getting closer. Jonah! Someone's over there. I have to get to them. I hope it's Jonah. If anything happens to Jonah, there will be tears, okay? Just so you guys know, there will be tears. Shit! <laughs> what kind of eggs are these? Feathers to craft arrows. We're harvesting. So we know all about the survival and we know about that. Let's go to crafting. <coughs> so it doesn't actually tell me how to craft. Look at my butt, I'm so dirty. And I don't mean in that way. I feel like I'm playing um, 
And I haven't played Metal Gear Solid 3, but I've watched um, a couple of streams on it. Feels like I'm playing that game. A fire. Someone must be around. Hello? Jonah! Miguel! Can you hear me? Where are you? So, plane wreckage. This isn't good. This is the flight log from our plane. Miguel made notes about the long-term weather forecast. Warm, hot, and dry for the next three days. Highs in the low 30s, mostly clear skies with nothing but light rain expected. Based on his other entries, if Miguel had thought the chances of a severe storm were better than half, he wouldn't have flown us at all. But there was no storm predicted, let alone something serious. Hmm, okay. Our first time! I didn't know the storm would hit so hard. This is all my fault. I should have listened to Jonah, thought it through. I never should have taken that dagger. I hope no one else was hurt. No other village destroyed. I need to stop these cataclysms before it's too late. You need to stop making mistakes, okay? People are dying, Lara. It's your fault. Wow, this is new, okay. So we've got the blue side. We've got... Increased precision, so that's for bows, and then... Oh, I want this one. So we have two more skills available. Increase the amount of man-made crafting resources. Yeah, it is gonna be a lot like, um... Metal Gear Solid, I think. With, like, the, um, the crafting and, like, harvesting. I would like it actually if I had to do like camel as well, but I don't know if that's gonna be a thing in the game. All right, so I've got no more skill points and the other two are unavailable for just now. I still don't have a weapon though. I'm running blind here. The plane landed here. My gear is in that cargo. I'll need to cut it down. Alright, but I'm assuming I don't have anything to do that. No. There's gonna be some amount of like wildlife in this game. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna learn so much. I mean, hopefully, it's uh, realistic and not like made up or whatever, but. I get up there. Uh, so I think this is going to be the challenge for me, is the, the trying to find what you can actually jump on. Because graphically, it, it's so freaking good. Okay. I'll need a tool to open that. Alright, um, can I at least go on this? You'd think I'd be able to grab onto that, but obviously not. <clears throat> oh, damn it. Well, that was a thing. Can I not just like swim under it and get that? I'll try that after, but let's have a look around first. Oh. Progress past this point requires a rope. Okay. But I'm still trying to find a knife for that. Oh! Hey, guys. Cutie pies. Ah! God, I thought he was going to attack me. But he seemed friendly enough. Uh, what's up here? <clears throat> oh. Okay, so I found 
That looks like a, an optional tomb of some kind, so... I don't think I want to be there. Oh, wait, that's a tomb? Uh-huh. So I'll take that. This one here. Yeah, you can see it's got, like, yellow on it. I don't know if I, like, if I have to have the knife before I try and do this. Climbing axe. All right. So yeah, I do need all of my gear. That's fine. I just wanted to have a little explore, you know. We'll come back for that in a second. So that's different to the actual, the other thing I just saw. Right, let me just see if I have to go under the water. anyway. Hey, hey, hey. What is this? Some of that. So basically the controller vibrates when you, um, when you're dying. I was looking to see if this screen, oh, hold on, I want this. I was looking to see if the screen was going to do anything, but it didn't seem to. <laughs> right, let's cut this. Excuse me! It's dull. I need to find something to sharpen it. Oh. Okay. Wait, do I have to go there? Wait, uh, there's a big bear there. A relic there, plain wreckage. So that's oh, I was gonna try and sharpen it on that, but uh, okay. Kind of salvage like <laughs> this. I can climb trees. Ah, oh, this is cool. I'll take that. So I get across here. Ooh. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, let's just see if I can go. Oh, shoot. Can I not go this way? Ah, I can. <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> and I think that's it. Can use this. Still need more though. Right, okay, so let's find a couple more of those. Let's get some more feathers. So this is cool, it's really just teaching you to look around the place. Okay, so that's the tomb there. I don't think there was any no. Like plants from the canopy. I wonder. Maybe if I go in here, I'll find something. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Got some mushrooms.
Ah, okay, so again, I need the rope for that one. There's so much that it's um, showing me. Uh, I think there's something over this side. Okay, use hide to restore outfits. Restore outfits. Ah, does my outfit get like screwed or something? That's interesting. Right. Uh, I still need so much more stuff though. I've only got one of three. Oh, there's another one. I see it. And then maybe I need to go up top for the other one. That's exactly what I was looking for. Just need a bit more. All right. Got everything I need. Should head back to camp. All right, sweet. <gasps> yep. Oh, I missed that completely. Uh, so camp is this direction. I'm telling you guys, it is so easy to get lost in this place, especially this one here. This is very um, open, and there's so much to see. Okay, inventory. So now I've got my crafting. Oh, I wanted to see the outfits. Nice. Ah, oh, oh, what are these? Oh my God. No benefits, what's this? That's got no benefits either. Oh my God. Oh my God. Tomb Raider 2, eat your heart out. I've got to. I've got to. She's in the cutscenes as well! Oh my god! <laughs> that should be sharp enough. That is so cool! Oh, I am keeping this on uh, for the rest of the um, this episode. Something's still holding the supplies up. Uh, that's because there's another rope over here. See? And who says about all this SJW nonsense? They're killing sexiness in video games. Well, hello. You get the opportunity to play as sexy Lara. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and cut this one here. It's gonna fall in the water. Yes. Oh, now no, I, I can didn't. get my gear back. Oh. <sighs> Why didn't I pack all my equipment together? Miss Croft? Anyone? Come in! Miguel? Where are you? Damn! Well, if it, if it goes by the life expectancy of any pilot in Tomb Raider, he's about to die. Just saying. Okay, so I got my bow back. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Before we go anywhere, See, I almost forgot already. It looks so good. I wish I could just like 
I mean, technically, I could play the, in -game, the entire game like this, but I'm not sure everyone would like that, so. Where was that? There was something shining. Here we go. So what's over here? Oh, I'm being stupid. Okay. Yes! All right, let's go exploring. I see spikes. Careful, careful. Watch the boobies. They just fit. They're gonna get poked. <laughs> oh God. I don't like spikes, okay? Alright, it's gonna be fun. Ew, it's dirty. Wonder where this will lead. <sighs> Mothered beep. Enough of your stupid traps. Oh. What's this? A page from Jack's expedition journal. 30th of May. This morning we entered uncharted territory, uncharted. leaving the sun-bleached bones of dead horse camp behind. It seems the tables have turned on Rally, almost quite literally. His bandaged leg has slowed his pace and made him the tail of our party. When father notices, he slows, turning around to give us both an encouraging smile. His overly eager step betrays his calm demeanor as he rushes past us at the sight of every nearing turn, ridge, or embankment. So that was a uh, journal number two. Did I miss the first one? Hello? Do I want to touch this? I don't know if I should go left or- Oh uh, shit! Mother- <laughs> Okay, note to self. Uh, can I make that? Just. Whoa! No, no, no. Oh, I see. <laughs> Um, wait, I think this is maybe the way out? This seems to describe a hidden chamber nearby. Can't really read it though. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, so this is back at the star. Okay, so I've actually opened... Wait, I missed this last time. Hold on. Right, give me the mushrooms. Okay, so we came down here. We went under here. And then we took a right. So let's go ahead and take a left. Ah! What do we have here? Feathered boots? Switch out, uh, some outfits give gameplay benefits when worn. Okay, so pretty much like the last game. Additional gear required. Oh, that sucks. 
Well, I mean, if I can't do it just now, then I can't do it, I suppose. That's got to be the way up. Please don't fall. Please? When do I get my axe, my, um, my pickaxe back anyway? I miss it. Uh, right, okay, that's fine. So that's just how I get back. So at the moment, I did manage to pick up one thing. But I couldn't do the other one because I don't have my axe right now. So let's go ahead and leave this place. Maybe like set a little reminder for myself that I have to come back here once I've actually got all of my gear. Ugh. That guy did not go a very nice way. <laughs> His death was not honorable, shall we say. Right. So we're out of this one. And there was a tomb. Is it here? No, no. Not there. I mean, I understand that there's a guy <laughs> dying. Like, the pilot is probably dying, but... You know, tombs and all that. Come on, we gotta do a tomb. Kind of the point of Tomb Raider. Ah, okay, so I can't do the tomb just now. Darn it. Right, well, that's fine. We did the other one. We got some, like, feather boots, which I'll check out the next time I go to camp. So let's make our way across. <laughs> nope, nothing there. Miguel? I don't like this. Miguel? Where are you? Oh no. Oh, he got eaten by a fucking bear. Miguel? Miguel? He got eaten by a bear! I think he got eaten by a bear. He's gonna run away. We're gonna hide! No, I'm kidding. Right, let's find him. What did I say to you guys? Pilots, they just don't have the best luck in this game, okay? Let's follow the blood. The blood seems to be going this way. Miguel? Mm. Miguel? Oh god. worse. That's way worse than a bear. I can outrun a bear. I can't outrun a cheetah. And it's monkey posse. Look at me, I'm not even phased. So what do I do? Holy shit. That's what I just said. 
It's a jaguar! Excuse me, I called it a cheetah. I am a cheetah girl. I am a cheetah girl. No, fuck your monkey! That's what you get! If you're gonna try and intimidate me, I'll kill your monkeys! Okay? You don't scare me! You've got to be careful here. We're doing a, a minor quick walk now. <sighs> Defeat them! Oh! God damn! That's it. You see that? I did that. Oh, shit. Oh. It's working. Dirty Jaguar. Oh my good god. actually like really freaking sad oh my god like even Lara knows she's like looking down or whatever what was she looking at anyway she was looking at something well the monkeys are gone that was such a good fight though I really enjoyed that What did I pick up then? So I still need to get my... Oh, there's healing one over here. Is it this one? I feel like I wanted to follow them in there, but maybe not. <laughs> okay. Any more Jaguar things? I actually really want to camp so I can put my Lara back to normal. I would have liked to have seen her facial expressions. That's part of the wreckage. 
Jonah! Jonah! Better not have hurt him. Come in, Jojo. My little Jojo! that way okay first of august tonight sleep escapes us the jungle is angry and the moon is uncooperative the human imagination wanders endlessly in the dark this deep i can hear the jungle's breath ruffling behind my ears its low growl shaking the very ground we lay on its manic energy rustling through the trees above Rest has become the lead on our search, finding us at the most inopportune time. I have caught father dozing off mid-step and his hand barely clutching his walking stick. We have run out of food and are sustained almost entirely by gathered berries and rainwater. The both of us are far too unyielding to give up. I fear the very stubbornness that led us to this point may also be that which leads us to our early graves. A shame. So there's a few things that we can do here. We can climb a tree. <laughs> oh no! Okay, we can't go that way, it would seem. It definitely wants me to double back a lot in this game. But knowing my memory, I'll forget. So I'll never explore. Coming, Jonah. Oh, give me that. Is that the? That is the back end. Jonah, are you there? What's wrong with your arm? Uh, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some wormwood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. <sighs> oh, no! Uh, you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> I'm with you. It's my choice, most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> Maybe we should Ew. be moving. Okay. Eli? 
Uh, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kawakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. Okay, but first things first. We have got to change back to normal. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. We've got to change back to I'm normal, glad Lara. The crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted you to be able to find me. At a flare gun, so... Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when... Poor guy. How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. Got my answer. <laughs> oh, so he drank it? Do you really believe in all that, that stuff that you said about the cataclysms, the apocalypse? I believe that if it is true, it's important enough to die for, or for Trinity to kill for. So this is really about revenge? No, no. I, when I took the key, I also felt a power pulling me toward something. It's real. If you felt a power pulling you when you took the key, is it in your head now? No. It left me when Dominguez took the key. If it's that strong, how can you be sure? Let's just find Kwakiaku, okay? Okay. You know, if it was about revenge, I'd understand. <laughs> Would you, though? Wouldn't you rather be somewhere warm and dry with a beer, maybe a friendly stranger to flirt with? <laughs> yeah, I would. Like, you can't imagine. But I'd still understand. It's not revenge. Okay, so I've got my usual Lara back. And I think um, I'll keep that one on. I just wanted to test out what it looked like. Because obviously I love Tomb Raider 2. It's one of my all-time favorite games. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.